Catherine from Basingstoke. When will residents of care homes, many of whom have not been outside in over a year, be allowed out for a walk or a socially distanced visit to a cafe or pub garden? I'm asking this on behalf of my 94-year-old grandmother. Thank you. Thank you very much, Catherine. And I think that, uh, Catherine, you, you, you speak on behalf of millions who, uh, who want to, to, to see uh, more flexibility for uh, visiting uh, elderly relatives in, in care homes and, and or allowing them to do more. And I know it's been a very, very tough time uh, for, for those in, in care homes. You remember uh, how uh, hard our care homes were hit by that first wave of the, of the pandemic. We've had to do everything we can uh, possibly to protect them. Uh, what we're doing from, uh, from Monday, the 8th, April the 12th, as I said just now, is we're allowing uh, more people to visit elderly relatives. Uh, in care homes, led, led, uh, going up from, from one to two. And Catherine, we're doing a review uh, right now on the specific um, request that you, you make, and I'm sure on behalf of, of many others, to try to get that going uh, in, a, in a reasonable and uh, a safe way. But you'll, you'll hear a bit more about that, Catherine, uh, later on uh, in, the next, uh, in the next few days. Uh, can we go to, to Matthew from Norwich? As more adults become protected due to the speedy vaccine rollout, is there a risk that COVID-19 could mutate and affect children more? If so, are scientists looking at a vaccine for children also? Uh, excellent question from Matthew, but I think I'm going to ask uh, Chris and Pat, or, uh, Patrick to... Yeah, I'm happy to forget uh, that. Um, yeah. Well, I think there's, there's, there's no evidence that, there's, that the virus is going to mutate specifically to affect children. What may happen as more and more people become immune to the virus through vaccination is that the virus will try and get round that and to try to escape the vaccine. That's a normal process that viruses do, so we'd expect that over time, which is why over time it may be necessary to update the vaccines maybe every year, every couple of years, it'll be necessary to have a slightly different vaccine um, for certain vulnerable groups. So that's what we'd expect to change. In terms of vaccines for children, that is being looked at. It'd be the same vaccines. The Pfizer uh, study read out um, last week that they're, they're looking at this in, in, in children. And so I expect to see more trials of vaccines in children over the next few months. Uh, uh, um, and it'll, it'll be the same vaccines. Could I just add one point on this, which is one of the uh, few um, good things about this uh, epidemic, and there are almost none, uh, is that children are relatively unaffected. But for that reason, you'd want to be absolutely confident that a vaccine was highly safe because children are at relatively low risk, and therefore you want to be confident that uh, the vaccine is incredibly safe if you're using it in children. Uh, in older adults, of course, the risk of COVID is incredibly high, so that the risk ratios uh, look different. Thanks.